Well, when you order something on eBay, you never know what you're gonna get. At least these weren't $80 shocks or something, but these are option one budget shocks from eBay. And actually, they're not bad. The quality looks pretty good on them. They got a really nice look to them. They're gonna fit, size-wise, they're gonna fit perfect on the Ultima. So that's good. And the rear ones actually operate pretty decent. They're, they're pretty smooth. Not, no complaints there. The front ones are uh, a complete different story though. And it's not really anything to do with the quality of them. But whoever put the ends on these shocks, on the, on the shaft here, use a pair of pliers like this. Or these are, and scratch the heck out of that shaft there. So as soon as you compress that, you get about three quarters or yeah, three quarters away down there. They just want to bind up and you can feel it grabbing that O-ring on the inside. So I'm out here, I'm gonna to try to smooth that up with some sandpaper. I did go ahead and, and email the seller. We'll see what he says, but I'm, I'm, I'm guessing nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to see. If it, my guess is that if they scratched up that quick, they'll probably polish up pretty quick too. I don't imagine for 20 bucks, these are a hardened steel or anything like that. So I'll probably be able to smooth those out pretty well and get those to working. So anyway, a little disappointed, but just be aware if you're gonna buy $20 eBay shocks, this is the stuff you're gonna, you're gonna run into guys. I ended up chucking the shock shaft in my drill here and then using some sandpaper then I've got some 3,000 and 5,000 grit sandpaper and what I've done is just polish those shafts up and, and they're really smooth now what I'm working on now is it's cold out right now but these shocks seem really really stiff and these pistons on here have two small really tiny holes in them so I'm going to go ahead and use these Traxxas three hole uh, piston and they worked really well in this one here. They're a little bit smoother. And surprisingly, they fit perfect into these shocks. So if you do have some of these shocks, and you at least you have options to, to kind of tune them. I do think I'm also going to go ahead and polish these up here. Um, they're a little gritty. They're not bad. I mean, I was, I was going to go with them, but I think I can make them even better uh, since these are so smooth. And these are really smooth now after polishing them. So I'll go. I'm not going to change the, pitch, the pistons out on these. I think they're going to be okay. I'm just going to go ahead and... Take those all apart and polish the the, uh, the shafts up, and I'll I'll show you how I'm doing that. I'm just using some 5,000 and 3,000 grit sandpaper. I think this is a thousand sandpaper, and I'm starting off with with that scouring pad, and it's working out really nice. I'm not being too aggressive because I don't want to wear that shaft too thin, um, but that's kind of how I'm doing it, and it's working out really nice. Okay, as you can tell, I've taken the shock apart here, so I've basically got the shaft out. I'm going to go ahead and chuck this in the drill. Go ahead and take my scouring pad. Let's smooth that out quite a bit. Next, I'm going to go ahead and move to my 3000 grit. I'm gonna go ahead and go to 5,000 grit. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it's very shiny now, really smooth. So that ought to be a lot smoother. Like I said, this the back ones weren't bad, but I thought, well, what the heck? I've got everything else apart. Might as well, might as well smooth these out too, and that feels a lot better. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and throw that Traxxas piston on there. The ones that come with it are, they're just a two hole and they're very tiny. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that three in there just to see how that works. If it doesn't, if I don't like it, I can always swap it out. I don't know if you can see but that Traxxas piston fits in there perfect. As the shocks are put back together, I'm happy with them. They are a lot smoother. So they ought to work really well on the Project Ultima here. So if you've seen these on eBay and you're thinking about getting them, just be aware that, you know, you're probably gonna have to rework them a little bit like I did. All right, guys, I got these at least put on the old Ultima here, my Turbo Ultima. Pretty smooth and they actually feel a lot better than these old ones these things are just if you watch some of my other videos I've complained about these but they're just they're just horrible and I'm sure when they were new they weren't this bad but they just have no movement in them at all they're stiff I'm pretty sure uh, there's something going on inside of these anyway but these feel much better and they have a lot more uh, range of motion than the other ones did too Sitting up a little higher than I want them to sit, but these are the exact same height as these. So it must just be the, you know, the height that Kyosho set them to be. So, yeah, these are really nice. It's really cold out in the garage right now. I got a heater on here. So it's pretty cold, so this oil is pretty stiff. I put 30 weight in them. 
but pretty happy with the way they're gonna they're gonna work out. I'm gonna go ahead and take these back off. They'll go on the on the project car, and I'll put these back on there. Probably take these apart one day and see what the heck's going on in there. So anyway, decent little shock. Once you put some work into them, I also did replace the O-rings that were on here. The little tiny thin ones. They don't. Uh, they're they're pretty weak. So I did put some some new O-rings on there. I got a bunch of them here, so I threw, the, threw a couple of those on there. Not that those really do anything. I think they just help this uh, keep this collar from turning. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in, and please like the video if you liked what you saw, and please subscribe if you haven't already, and please tune back in. These are going to be going on the Ultimate one day, and hopefully I'll get that project uh, finished up here. Thanks, guys.